Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a special one for you today where I am going to be going through the range that I am trading on Bitcoin and the position that I currently hold on this chart. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Let's get on with some educational facts and some lovely technical analysis. So the analysis locally that we have here, I think it's fairly obvious to the eye that we are going sideways, okay? We've really clearly defined here on a range, okay? We know this this white line is the high of our lower channel, okay? And that has clearly been lovely support resistance level, okay? So that is naturally support. So that's coming in at around 9,065, okay? So that direct level that you're sat above now is a support level, okay? Is a support I am in a short position, by the way, currently in around $550 profit from last night. And I'm in a short, but I've taken profits at this low because this for me is support. And what do we do when price hits support? We take profits. When do we switch our short into a long? When we see a little bit of strength. So it's not so difficult to be trading this. I actually finding it, I'm finding it really slow paced, really nice, simple trading. Okay. So that's really simply our, our direct level that we have below us, okay? 9,065. So it's a big take profit level if you've got a short from higher up. Um, so then where are we looking at resistance? I think it's clear as day, the monthly, the monthly. We know, you know, you've been watching my videos hopefully long enough now that we've been absolutely, you know, just crushing this range. And the monthly has been influential part of, you know, the influential part of the trade. I can't remember when my last update publicly was, if I'm honest with you. I can't remember when it was. But... Um, we have obviously, yeah, I think it was maybe on the 25th, 24th, something like this, but we have bounced off that channel. We come back, we back tested the monthly. Okay, so it's just perfection. You know, you back test that monthly, swing far over the highs, you know, you get that short position, not hard. You come back down, you back test the channel, obviously take profits. You do though continue with the lower highs and lower lows. You break that bound, that brack, <laughs> you break down through support come to a big support of 8,800. Why was it big support? Well, you did have the, the you did have the lows here. So for another swing failure pattern, which you obviously got. So it's obviously, you know, another take profit level. But, you know, you come down to this level and guess what starts happening? You know, time and time and time and time again, you get the big breakdown, you get a breakdown and suddenly everybody turns bearish. Everybody turns bearish at that breakdown of the low. So what do you think is happening next? If everybody's turning bearish, everybody's market shorting, you're seeing 200, nearly 300 million at market coming in at sales. Have a guess what's happening. Have a guess what I'm doing. I'm looking for longs. So as you know, if you were following the Twitter anyway, I've been really active on Twitter actually updating you. But we were uh, looking for longs after everybody was turning bearish. The exact words, you know, everybody's turned bearish. It wouldn't be a surprise if we get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a short squeeze. And you did break through that resistance, okay? But what you've done here is you come up to the 618 and then you have found resistance and you come back down to the channel, okay? So everything here is technically trading well. But I, what I want to really get the point across before I give you some more key levels, I really want this to get, get into your head because honestly, Honestly, let's just remind ourselves before I get into this of what we've been trading here. We've been trading from the lows to the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows. The lows. Every single time we have traded this profitably, anybody that has tried to long the highs expecting a breakout has lost money. Anybody that has shorted the lows expecting a breakdown has lost money. Anybody that has traded the range has made money. Okay, so with that in mind, let me go across to this post here for you. So read this 100 times over before you try and trade a breakout on Bitcoin, which we know has very low probability odds, okay, especially when you've got the context of a range. Okay, so um, this is what I want you to think. These words I'm about to tell you, I want you to think of them before you take every single attempting to trade trade a breakout. So I suppose it's like this. If you're a Star Wars fan, you're like this. If not, bear with me a minute. You know how when Luke, okay, he's, he's told from Darth Vader, Luke, I am your father. And then he's like, no, and he falls down and then he goes down through the vents and he's holding on for dear life. And what what's he doing when he's holding on for dear life? What's he thinking in his head? He's thinking, Leia, Leia, come and save me because I'm about to get wrecked. If you do not come, turn the Millennium Falcon around and save me. Telepathically, they speak to each other. Leia sees Luke's voice in her head and she's like, 
we need to turn the Millennium Falcon around. You know, we need to go back for Luke. And, uh, you know, Orlando turns it around, they save Luke. But how did that work out? It worked out very well. And it's because she thought of Luke's voice in her head. And now this is what I want to do for you. I want you to, every time you're about to try and trade the breakout, every time you're about to market buy on these highs, every time you're about to market sell on these lows after a big move, emotional in the moment, I want my voice to come into your head in the most non-creepy way possible and say to yourself, trade the range until it breaks. Trade the range until it breaks. Let's stop trying to trade breakouts. Let's trade the range. Let's make money. Every time you've tried to break, try to try, every time you've tried to trade a breakout, you've thrown it away. You've handed your hard earned cash over to me. Do you want to keep giving me your money or do you want to make money with me? It's as simple as that because anybody that has traded this with me has made money. Okay. So it's lovely. So I want you to think of that every time that you're aggressively buying at these highs, every time that you're aggressively selling at these lows, when you approach these levels fast, don't be doing that. Trade the range. Let's go. And so this is what I want you to be, you know, what I want to accentuate the words here of breakout or not. This volatility is insanely profitable. This was on the 26th when we were just in a sideways range, but we were like seeing really quick volatile moves up and down. Lovely, 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 like 2% instantly. Um, So, you know, completely agree, mate. I, I used to just think about prices dropping lower or going higher. Now I just look at levels and trade them for what it is. 100% want to emphasize, you know, we do not need big breakouts to make cash. These small ranges are literally gold mines and super easy to make money. Making money does not have to be hard. It really does not have to be hard. Okay. You know, you have seen the videos that I've been doing. I've been showing you videos. I've been showing you, you know, like real, <clears throat> you know, videos here. You know, we done on this challenge account, on the challenge account. Okay. We done 10 thousand dollars in one and a half days ten thousand dollars in one and a half days from trading the small ranges that's shorting the highs long in the lows or at least taking profits at the lows we've done it we've done it we've done ten thousand dollars one and a half days trading on a challenge account okay that's insane this was all recorded this was all recorded on video so it's just insane how lovely the trades were going we were killing it from the highs to the lows from the highs to the lows you know insanely profitable trading you know not many people can show you evidence of doing that like i done over the weekend there on twitter you know every trade was recorded every trade was posted you know the evidence of of each trade that i was taking you know it was an insane run it was lovely but it's not like, for me, this isn't like out of the ordinary. I'm not even trying to flex I made 10K. Like it's it's not so much for me. Like the thing is, I just done this so I could show you this is how we're making money. So I could show you, prove to you the hard evidence is here. You know, the evidence is here. Like I'm not just a guy that comes on to do these YouTube videos with not putting my money where my mouth is. Every time I say something, I have seven figures, seven figures on the line of every trade that I'm taking on my main accounts. And then I'm doing this on a challenge account. What? 50 to 100k on it each trade. And I'm still putting my money where my mouth is. I'm recording the trades. I'm showing you the evidence. And I'm trying to inspire you almost to show you that this is 100% possible. OK, what I'm earning, what you know, what, you know, what I even used to earn in a year, I'm doing it. I'm doing it in a week. You know, it's crazy the amount of profits that you make off of trading when you know how to trade. OK, so now let's go into the technical analysis here locally. So what do we have here locally? We do have, um, in my opinion, the monthly. You know, it's not hard. You know, I, I'm kind of repeating myself every single video because we're still in the same range. If we're honest here, you know, the, my technical analysis from one month ago, you could probably watch the same analysis and the levels are going to be pretty much the same. You know, the monthly is now resistance. That's nine thousand three hundred thirty nine. Above that, you have nine thousand four hundred twenty five. Above that, you have nine thousand five hundred twenty five. You know, really, really simple. Those are your three big resistances. Here locally, you know, you can see the highs coming in 9,300 to 9,339. While you're below these resistances, yeah, I have to say, you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable sitting in short positions. You know, I, I do have a bearish bias overall, but nevertheless, I'm not a, against trading longs because we are at support. You know, I'm taking profits down at these lows, not in a long at the moment, but, you know, I prefer to take a long with a bit more strength. Okay. So obviously, 
sat in this short position and I'm sat in this short position until I see a little bit more strength here you know before I get into the long I'd like to at least change this you know I'm down on the one minute chart here but at least change this market structure a little bit because all we're doing here even on the one minute is, is lower highs and lower lows so I want to see a bit of strength and I'll happily turn that short into a long Okay. On the flip side, you know, I've just mentioned to you the really key resistance and I'm, I'm literally trading these levels. And then on the flip side for support, still have $9,000 support. Okay. $9,000 support back into this order block here around 8950 Below that, really key support, 8705 weekly. And then below that, you got the 8,500 support. You lose those key supports, and this, this really could avalanche almost to the downside and just go and wipe out a lot of longs really, really, really quickly. But the same is to the upside, to be honest. We are in a position where we do have the potential for a short squeeze. It's just, you know, at the moment, I think, well, this is how I'm trading it. Take this for what you will. And as you can see, my opinion is worth a lot because I've literally traded this insanely profitable, insanely well absolute champion of these charts. So make sure you make a note of this. I'm not taking a long until I see strength. Simple as that. I'm not taking a swing trade long until I see strength. You know, I'm happy to sculpt like, like micro trade longs on the one minute chart sort of thing, three, five minute charts. But for a swing trade, I want to see a bit of strength. And if we do see that bit of strength, I'll happily take a long and I'll happily be looking to actually trade these up for my higher targets, $9,000, $10,000. But and see until I have the evidence, you know, I'm all about the evidence. I'm all about the statistical edges. And so until I actually see that statistical edge, until I actually get a trigger that's telling me long this, I'm going to stay short. It's as simple as that. I am going to stay short. But as soon as I get that trigger, as soon as I get that entry alert come off, I will switch this short into a long. OK, and if those alerts go off for me, then I'm looking up to around 9,900, 10,000. OK, but until that happens, I have to trade. I have to trade the charts. OK, although I might have a, you know, I might have these biases and ideas. I am not trading off of them until I have an actual alert go off that tells me, OK, it's now time. OK, so it's pretty simple in that regards. You know, it's not overly complicated. I hope I've made this analysis really simple for you. Um, you know, I've given you some really key support and resistance levels, and these are not levels that I'm just pulling out of nowhere. You know, these are levels I spend hours. I'm, 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 I'm almost trading for 12 hours a day. You know, this is my passion. And this isn't because I have to, you know, this is my passion. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love crushing these charts. You know, it's just, I, I, you know, I could do this. Well, I do. I do this all day long, every single day. I absolutely love it. So the levels that I'm giving you, I've put in a lot of time, a lot of effort to work out these levels. And then I'm giving them to you now for free on YouTube. So if you appreciate that, if you appreciate me sharing how I'm trading, if you appreciate me doing the videos, explaining the trades as I've done them all weekend, if you if you if you if you're, if you're impressed by me doing the 10k profit in one and a half days of that weekend, give this video a like. It's the least you can do. I would thoroughly appreciate that. Um, you know, give me a like down below. Give me a comment of support. Show your love, and you know, I would I would appreciate it. You know, if you don't want to do that, give me a comment of hate down below. Give a dislike to the video and say, Daniel, I absolutely hate you for being so good at trading. Because guess what? Anybody that dislikes this video is purely jealous of this because there's no way you can dislike this. I'm giving you the levels that I'm literally making money off of. You know, for free. So. Um, you know, final words, I suppose, that I'll wrap up this video. I honestly do hope that you've enjoyed it. You know, I hope that you've taken this video the right way. Some people are going to say, Daniel, all you've done is brag. Some people are going to have taken notes. They've got out their notepad. They've wrote down the key levels that I'm trading off of, and they're going to have made a note. OK, so one more time, I'm going to repeat it for you. OK, we're at a support right now. OK, we're at a support 9065. If you got your shorts from higher, this is a take profit. But ultimately, until this market structure change, we're going to probably be looking for a little bit lower levels. Let's keep our eye on the ES, which is moving up currently, but with a little bit of weakness. So this is obviously the US market, the futures. OK, we've seen the UK market with mm, somewhat strength, but obviously pretty weak locally. So ultimately, we might be waiting for the US market open, which is in uh, 10, 11, in four hours time. Okay. So it's, it's, it's likely that we range sideways for another four hours, in my opinion, uh, until we get the market open. So there's no rush. You don't need to be rushing into a position right now. It's very likely that we head sideways for at least, you know, for you know, maybe today, you know, I wouldn't rush into any position right now. If you're in no position, just, just take it easy, you know, chill, chill. <laughs> you know, this is, this is nice sideways range trading. Okay. If you start to get, this is the thing you can trade breakouts, you know, I will trade breakouts. And this is obviously for me at the moment, adding on to positions. 
if we start getting aggressive, uh, you know, I, I guess this is for another video, really. It's quite complex. But, you know, I will trade breakouts if the evidence that I need to trade the breakout is there. And I suppose the best example of this locally is when, you know, when we shorted the high and this was a breakout of the range. But, you know, you start to look at your footprint charts and you can see that it's, it's a weak break. But if you start to break on, you know, strength, then, you know, absolutely we can trade the breakouts. But that's for another video I don't want to confuse. Just so you're aware, right now I am going to do a live stream for the champions where I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth where I'm going to actually, you know, I've, I feel I've done a nice job on this public one, but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth, the exact levels that I'm going to be looking for, for the longs, for the shorts. So I'm going to do that live stream now for the champions and uh, then I'll upload this video to YouTube after that. So you can expect this video to be uploaded in about one, one hour's time more or less, you know, but I'm going to do that live stream now. And then I'll put this one on YouTube for the public. So, um, yeah, I suppose final words, if, if you want to have more in-depth, you know, actual real-time updates, how I'm taking the trades, when I'm taking them, the levels that I'm like, you know, trading from, then for the, you know, chartchampions.com. I just want to, you know, really focus, by the way, that it's not a signals group. You know, you shouldn't be joining for the signals. You should be joining if you want to learn exactly how I'm marking out these charts. You want to learn exactly where we're getting these levels from. You know, you want to you want to learn the theory behind the trades, then that's really the focus, okay? Although it's, it's obviously a bonus to know how I trade in real time, but that's not the, that's not really why you should be joining, you know? So, um, yeah, that's my final words here. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the technical analysis and you're starting to truly understand how we really make money on these charts and the, and the ranges are, are key. There's a time to trade breakouts. There's a time to trade, you know, trends but that's clearly not now you know it's, it's clear as day it's not now so you know that time is going to come and it's going to come shortly we are going to break out of this shortly i'm telling you but um so get ready for that but um it's not quite yet so get get ready but uh yeah cheers everybody thank you have a good one and goodbye bye <laughs>